Good morning, everybody. Well, afternoon now. Um, we started vlogging later. It's almost two, which is crazy to me because I feel like it should not be two o'clock. But it's good because the vlog's up. We had a relaxing morning. We all slept in, which was awesome. Um, and Dom and Victoria are on the plane right now. I feel like they should, I think they told me they were landing at 1.30, but it's 1.40 and they haven't said they landed yet, but I feel like they just got on the plane a little bit ago. I don't know, but we found out that they're actually staying at a resort that's super close to our apartment, which is a surprise. But I'm gonna go run a few errands, gotta stop by the grocery store, stop by the post office, do some of that fun stuff. So Sarah's getting dinner ready, getting the crock pot chicken taco stuff ready, and uh, uh, we might see them later, I hope we do. Now that we know that their resort's close, we probably will, so I gotta go though. Why, hello everybody. Woo. So, Peter's been out and about all day. Have you talked at all? Uh, not since I left. No. So he just went to Walmart, he went to the P.O. Box, he went and donated all of our clothes. Um, I went on a hunt for Jay's chips, Walgreens, 7-Eleven, a liquor store, Publix, Oh my gosh. None of them had it. None. Or grape, but I didn't think they had it. Okay. So we were on the hunt for hot chips and Green River. One Green River is a green pop. Um, is it brewed in Chicago? It's made in Chicago. It made in Chicago. Company made it during Prohibition. Um, St. Patrick's Day is really big in Chicago, but I don't think that we're going to be able to find Green River here. We can find it online, probably. We can maybe find it online. Um, as far as the hot chips go, we actually haven't talked about this a lot, just with the surgery and everything going on, um, but Tuesday is the anniversary of my father passing away, and um, I, we don't really know what we're going to do just yet. I know we're probably going to be in Magic Kingdom. I'll probably go there during the day, um, but two of his favorite things, one I'm for sure going to get at Magic Kingdom is a cinnamon roll. Um, loves cinnamon, sugar, desserts. And Jay's hot chips, so we really wanted to get those for the 27th. Not Lay's, Jay's. Um, I actually, I don't know, I, I just messaged Jen and I was like, send me some. Um, we'll see if that happens. Um, but anyway, we got a lot of nice mail. Um, first was our Starbucks gift, gift card from Kat Maris, who is a chef. Um, go follow her on Instagram, she's at Kat Maris, and she, um, me and her go back and forth. She does a lot of simple but healthy recipes, and I won a giveaway, so I won this Starbucks gift card, um, and she also sent me her e-cookbook, so that was really nice to finally, um, to get that, and, and, um, just wanted to tell you guys that she is an awesome Instagram to follow if, um, you're interested in healthy, quick recipes, um, but also delicious ones. And then we got a gift. This is from um, Ryan, Ashley, and Rhett Gillespie, which they've been huge supporters of, um, of us and the Plain Crazy Button Club. And um, they said, Sarah, we hope your surgery went well. This isn't much, but thought while you're recovering and not walking in the parks, you can look at your toes and feel like you're home. So these are Disney socks. From them, I um, I'm so pleasantly surprised. So nice of them. So thank you very much. Okay, so then last is um, a care package from Sammy for me for um, the surgery. There is so much in here. I'm so excited to show you guys. I haven't even seen a lot of it yet, but she's gonna be down here soon, and we really hope that we'll get to meet her. Um, but it's so nice of her to send this. This is something that she sent for Peter. A little bag toss game and let's cornhole. cornhole I mean we don't from where we are we call it bags what do you guys call it um, she had called it cornhole but I think it is a Midwestern thing Most so people do call it cornhole yeah it's a very Chicago thing to call it bags okay. it's a very so we Midwestern call it bags but we have played it a handful of times here um, so this is like a little desktop version of it for Peter she gave us this little buttons these Minnie Mouse um, these gummies, this cute little season of the day banner, S sticky notes, Reptar bar, like, I literally was such a huge Rugrats kid. Um, I'll even say my, my password journal in the 90s, the password was Rugrats. I loved Rugrats when I was little. Oh, another little stitch. Aww. Um, a foot mask. 
a face mask, um, the Skittles Sweet Heat, it's fancy. Yeah, recovery thing. So this is a travel book rest. So cool for while I'm reading. Oh, well, while Peter runs. Oh my gosh, look at her Walt Disney World stationery. And then, what are you? Oh, it's cute, it's a little chalkboard easel. Small chalkboard easel, how nice. Such a nice thing. Peter is like in. I'm in the tidy mode. He's in a <laughs> we tiny were in, mode. I will confess, we were out of garbage bags for like eight hours. And yeah. I was losing my mind. Yeah. Not that I, I don't have OCD, I don't think. No, not but at like, all. <laughs> <laughs> but like, we didn't have it, so I'm like, we had boxes of like stuff from the mail you guys have seen the past three days, like piling up, and I was like, oh. Yeah. So he's feeling good. Now he's in a mode. Yeah. But again, thank you so much, Sammy. We've had so many. Um, so many fun mail days the past couple of days, whether it's stuff that we ordered or stuff that we've gotten from you guys. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you can tell that I am feeling better. I'm not 100% yet, but um, overall today has been a good day. Um, Dom and Victoria get here. I don't know if we're gonna see them tonight or not yet, but um, but yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. So your well wishes have been working. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, are those fireworks? Those? Those can't be fireworks because we haven't left the house in days. Well, we needed some fresh air. Sarah needed some fresh air and uh, I came up with a great idea that she should have a lava smoothie. <laughs> so I decided the location. I'm just joking, she did everything. She was like, can we go to, what about Wilderness Lodge? And I was like, okay. And she's like, what about Geyser Point? I was like, okay. And she's like, what about a lava smoothie? And I was like, whatever you want. I see happily ever after. We would have gotten here five minutes earlier. It would have been perfect because then we could have get. Oh, we could get over to Geyser Point. And, take it slow. Well, we gotta take it slow. She's still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get over and get a lot of smoothie, and then maybe happily, happily ever after, we'll still be going on. I just wanted to get on camera, started walking through into this lobby because it's it's like our favorite resort. It's not like our favorite resort. It, it is our favorite. favorite. So uh, we had. Bay Lake is like Geyser Point. Spent all day there. It's, Geyser Point is the epitome of like Sarah's jam. <laughs> it's like resort relaxation, vacation relaxation on water in Disney, at a lodge, food. delicious food, delicious drinks on the water. It's pretty much like a building version of Sarah Brookhart. We made it. Well. I think this is exactly what the doctor asked for. We should have done this three days ago, and she'd Stay feel well, just like this in this loungy chair. It's interesting; they're actually seating now, no matter where you are at Geyser Point. Right. It has to do with like the weather being nice. Yeah, and it getting busier again. Just relax and soak up the music. Hey, you're the best. Presented by Pandora Dual. Going on a, Please enjoy a six mile run tonight, so I'm having, I'm having some carbs <laughs> in liquid form. Sure. It's pomegranate. Yeah, it's a pomegranate. I asked the guy, I was like, what's your seasonal lagunitas right now? I was like, oh, it's, it's, a, it's shandy. That's summer. I was like, oh, summer shandy is a kid. It's summer shandy. It was pomegranate shandy, but I love pomegranate, so. And this little princess just saw the last bit of the fireworks, got a lava smoothie. Just what you needed? Yeah. Perfect. Right. Um, this is like National Geographic style right here, but that's the Grand One. The private yacht you can rent at the Grand Floridian. I've never seen it out at night, and I've never seen it over here by Geyser Point. Look at that. Who are you? Oh, surprise, it is. Just joking. I just had a massive mosquito. And I was like, you've never seen one of those big ones? And she's like, never on me. Huge. The exact words were, never front and center. Like, front row center sucking my blood. But you got it. For all the times we've been in this resort and how much, how many accolades we give this resort, I think we've, Sarah just realized that we don't think we've actually like, oh, we've never like looked and enjoyed and appreciated the stream right here. And it's, cause it's funny because we always talk about the stream as the same stream that begins in the lobby. Yeah, we love and then that, that 
that goes into the pool and then exits the pool. What? I, you know what I think it is? I think we've never looked at it from this angle, and I think right now it's 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 making itself really beautiful because of the the light reflecting off this at nighttime. Because I think we've definitely looked at this during the day. I think. Extra beautiful. The grand one's still taunting us over there. There's a lot of families that are standing, like sitting around, waiting for the electric light pageant to start. But I'm still gonna go on a run tomorrow because we have our our park day with Dom and Victoria. So we're gonna go home. I'm gonna chill. Yeah, we didn't. We just wanted a fresh breather and a lava smoothie. We didn't want to go too crazy tonight. Yeah. But it was nice too to not like jump right into just a park day. Yeah. yeah. And maybe we'll edit this vlog tonight. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, so we fast forward a little bit again. Um, I came home, went on a run. Sarah's been resting and asleep. The dog is really tired and wants to go to bed, but I'm actually gonna sign off now and get some stuff ready for tomorrow, like the vlog, because we have an early start tomorrow meeting Dom and Victoria. Uh, I'm just, we're so excited that they're here. But I wanted to say, I know we've said it in Instagram and Twitter and comments, and I think videos already, and I have Sarah Proud messages, but I want to tell you all that we are so thankful for all the messages. We have a couple care packages in today's vlog from some of our viewers, and we never expect or or want anything, not even a comment, but even the comments that we receive, let alone letters or packages, really really um really gives us like tells us in like the back of our head like that like we're doing something good and like we're sharing this and just like very like surreal that people that we don't even have never even met in person but now have relationships with care enough to give a little bit of time just to write a message to us or to go out and actually send us a card, a postcard, a letter, or a package. Like, it's so humbling and like, we are so grateful to, and can't even imagine, never thought we'd have those kinds of relationships seven, eight months ago before we started this. I mean, I thought a lot today about what our life looked like a year ago when Dom and Victoria and us were down here in Disney World together last February. And to think how much has changed in the 12 months and what has happened and what is happening and what is going to happen. It's very exciting and we love all of you and really appreciate it and uh, we're going to keep sharing our adventure as long as we can and, and are able to. So thank you and it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.